Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving uh, the 10 days of JavaScript's problem, day 5 inheritance. Uh, let's begin. Um, so we'll be implementing inheritance and prototypes to um, an existing class which is rectangle and we'll find out how to use it in this tutorial which is here's our tasks. We have to add an area method to the rectangle's prototype and create a square class that satisfies the following subclass constructor with no other methods Wait, sorry. Create a square class that contains the following. A subclass of rectangle contains a constructor and no other methods, and it can use the rectangular class's area to print the area of a square object. All right, so you, might, you guys might be wondering, how do we, what, what, there's so many words, what's going on here? Okay, so inheritance means that, um, let's just say, you know, like, you, let's just use people, for example, you inherited some properties or behaviors from your mother or father. That's basically what inheritance is. When you create a different type of blueprint for a class, um, even a different type of class, that class could have similar properties as something else. Um, and if it does that, I mean, it has all those properties as a certain class, you can use that as a parent. So you want, you could like inherit all the stuff from, from your parent, and you might have some specific qualities to that one part of that class so that you could just add on to that while inheriting it from everything else. And now what are prototypes? So when you construct a class, let's just say that 98% of all the times you need to use it has all these certain methods, and they use 2% of those instances, you might need an additional method for that class. This is when prototypes are used. You could just use it to add it to that class so that it could be used for that certain condition or case scenario. Anyways, let's begin. So if you want to write an area method to the rectangle's class prototype, you can see in this class prototype it only has a constructor. And in this instance, we want to create a method to calculate the area. To do that, we could do rectangle.prototype.area, and that would equal, I'm going to use a callback function. Oh wait, no, actually I could just do this one, equals function. All right, and it would return this.w times this.h. So what I'm doing here is that it's taking its properties to calculate the area with for the certain method called area. I'm constructing it to be assigned to this function and it return the width times height. Now if I want to create a square class that inherits all the rectangles, so it will have a width times height, like a square would, but it's going to extend from the rectangle. All those properties of what the constructor can do. Um, the difference is that if I, now I'm going to go and override overwrite its constructor method. Overwrite means I'm going to go and change what that behavior would be when it does its setup. In this case, here it's constructor width times height, but usually right here it's just going to be just width because it's just the same side all around. But something interesting is that since that, since that it's similar to the setup that we can calculate the width times height, um, calculate its area and everything like that. Um, it has almost all the similar properties except the only difference is it has one side. I can actually call that parent constructor, but this time I could just do, I could assign, instead of just two different parameters, width times height, I could do like width and width again. It will look like this. I'm going to call um, its parent um, constructor with using the super method, and then I'm going to do width and width. So what I'm doing right here is that I'm going to give it the, this constructor true input values of width and width and now it can do almost all the the prop it will be having all the same properties as a rectangle and the same um, function which is area but um, the only difference is that I specify that we're using the width all the way through width for the height width for the width so if we run this code it should run uh, oh I see what I did wrong here spelling error and now if I run the code, it should be working fine. Sweet. All right. All right, guys. It's a little bit weird with this kind of question right here. I mean, it's kind of, I probably, I'm probably i probably not sure if I explained it well. So if I didn't, please comment below. And if you do, I'll give you a big like at your comment. And if you say something unconstructive to how I can improve my content, I'm going to remove that comment because it's unconstructive just in general. And you're just being an unhelpful person to the universe. <laughs> All right, guys. Good luck in your, your school and good luck with your work. See you next time.